Today I want to share with you five science chapter book recommendations. These are books your kids are going to read and want to read and they're going to learn without even realizing that they're learning. They are so good. We've used them in our house with my oldest son and we'll continue to use these books specifically with my younger boys as well as they get older. Down in the description box I'm going to link some other science chapter books that we've done a little bit with but not a whole lot. You might want to look into those as well. The first one is the Bear Grylls series. Now we have read this entire series. I love these books. What happens here is that these kids are going off to summer camp and they're passing around this magic compass that helps them to deal with their fears. Now, so each kid kind of has like an issue, something that they struggle with. And when they are given this magic compass, it spins them off, takes them to a different biome somewhere around the world. Maybe it's the desert or the sea coast or a blizzard situation. And Bear Grylls is there to help them learn how to survive in this environment. And by going on this adventure, they overcome the fear that they have been struggling with. And then when they witness another kid in a situation where they're struggling they pass the magic compass off to them and that kid goes on another journey you can technically read these in whatever order it's a little bit easier if you read them in order but you don't have to Zoe and Sassafras is a series that really took me off guard I noticed right away that Zoe is always interacting with these mythical creatures so how could science be involved here well, it really is. The vocabulary that your kids will learn from this book is incredible. They're like in this book, back in the glossary, you can catch what some of those words are your kids are going to be learning about. Here it's carnivore, cold-blooded, conclusion, herbivore, hypothesis, omnivore, reptile, warm-blooded. And so you can see there that they are learning these different parts of science. And then each book is going to go through different terms as well. My son begged to keep going with this series. He read the whole series. And don't think that because it's a girl that your boys won't like it. My son really liked this one. If you've done science chapter book readers with your kids, let me know in the comments what they are. Help the community out with more suggestions. The science comic books are great for kids that love graphic novels. I will caution, however, they are not from a Christian uh, creationist aspect, so you might want to be really careful with your kids reading these, maybe go through them with them or preview them before you give them to them. But my son has just flown through these books. He always conquers them in one sitting. He just devours the information and then we talk about what he learned afterwards. So there's that, um, but I do appreciate that it does come at it from that graphic novel perspective because a lot of kids really do learn well from having all of that, those bright colors, and different chunks of information. So this is a great series to check out. Don't feel like you have to go out and purchase all of these books. Your library has all of these books or access to them so you can get them through an interlibrary loan. That's how we got Simon and Sydney. This is about a brother and sister twin mice that do all kinds of really cool experiments and learning. I actually found these to be some of the most science learning books for my son. We really enjoy them and they're really short so they're going to be really good for some of those earlier ages, uh, more maybe the first and second grade early readers. These are fantastic. Before we get to the last one, I want to recommend this devotional indescribable. It is not a chapter book, but your kid can read two pages a day uh, just describing God's amazing creations and the cool science that is behind all of the things that he made and designed. My son really enjoyed going through these. I know lots of homeschool families use it. I plan on getting the next one pretty soon for him because we all honestly enjoy these. So if you are looking for science for your kid from a Christian biblical perspective, don't forget about these. They can just be brief reads for your child rather than a whole chapter book. Highly recommend Indescribable by Louis Giglio. Okay, so our final one isn't as flashy as some of the other books, but it's Christian Liberty's Nature Readers. These are just gentle, beautiful chapters that your child can read about nature. They'll learn about spiders and bugs and all kinds of things, but it talks about it like mother spider and how she treats her babies and what she does. And it's a really 
easy, nice, gentle read, very focused on nature and science and understanding that. Um, so then there's a whole bunch of these that your kids can go through each year. And we enjoyed doing these as a very gentle thing for the, for the whole family. I read it aloud to my boys um, and we'll continue to do that. So make sure to check these out. Also, they're very inexpensive and this will cover your nature science for your homeschool. If you're interested in seeing a flip through of science curriculums, go ahead and click on this video. See you soon.